Uh, what language should uh, I use? Can uh, I speak uh, yeah, Russian or uh, Guys, speak? who don't speak Russian? Who don't speak Russian? Okay. And who don't understand English? <laughs> okay, so you, ca you may use both. Okay, <laughs> then we continue in English. <laughs> Okay, uh, so my topic is on scalable decentralized consensus protocol. Uh, it's a really important uh, research direction as uh, <coughs> for our opinion, opinion at our company because uh, <coughs> scalability is uh, one of the uh, main problems uh, that uh, modern cryptocurrencies are fa uh, faced uh, today. When we compare uh, throughput uh, <coughs> of uh, conventional financial system like Visa or MasterCard, uh, uh, we can see that they can produce uh, tens of thousands of transactions per second. And if we compare with uh, <coughs> uh, traditional cryptocurrencies, we can have only tens of transactions per, uh, per second. Uh, it's a very huge gap, and we need to fill this gap, and we'll, uh, we'll, fill, uh, we'll fill with our uh, <coughs> a new decentralized consensus protocol that have a very good scalability. So, uh, <coughs> I'll give a few words about myself, uh, field of application, then a very brief review of uh, traditional Nakamoto consensus uh, that is used in uh, <coughs> Bitcoin. And uh, after that, we'll go through uh, uh, some improvement of this uh, linear blockchain. Uh, what can we get? Uh, what characteristic can we get when we uh, use a more advanced solutions? Okay, uh, so I'm a research fellow uh, at AHK. I also give uh, lectures at uh, uh, Hakov Universities on uh, blockchain technologies, on uh, <coughs> network security, on uh, software security, uh, on crypto. Uh, I give lectures also uh, outside Ukraine. Uh, <coughs> uh, I, uh, at AHK, I'm uh, the co-author of the Ouroboros uh, protocol paper, which is uh, <coughs> put as the base, as the core protocol co uh, at Cardano cryptocurrency. And besides it, uh, my previous uh, big project was uh, development of two Ukrainian national standards uh, on uh, symmetric cryptogra uh, cryptography. It's a block cipher Kalina and hash function Kupina. So uh, that's Ukrainian AES and Ukrainian uh, SHA-3. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, when we're speaking about decentralized consensus protocol, uh, they should not have trusted parties. They are fully decentralized. They work in peer-to-peer -peer flat network, so all uh, <coughs> nodes are equal. Uh, so uh, nobody knows which node uh, is uh, reliable uh, or faulty or malicious. So uh, uh, each node uh, can disconnect, can fail, or uh, do malicious actions at, at, at any mom uh, moment. And uh, we also cannot rely on the network. Network can be split, uh, network, uh, network connections can be broken, but uh, consensus protocol should handle everything of this. Uh, he should uh, automatically handle everything of this. Uh, so <coughs> uh, here we have uh, requirements. Uh, uh, we briefly discussed right now. And uh, we work within assumptions that uh, majority, more than 50% of uh, <coughs> participants or vast majority, more than two thirds of participants uh, are honest and they, be, uh, they uh, behave accordingly uh, to the protocol. So uh, in this uh, <coughs> solution, a redundancy is accepted. So if uh, we are speaking about uh, uh, such solutions, uh, uh, <coughs> many nodes can do the same work and that is uh, quite normal to get necessary security guarantees. Uh, so, where do we use such protocols? Of course, it's uh, cryptocurrency distributed ledgers. It can be decentralized uh, and permissionless, like Bitcoin, Nakamoto, Cardano, Ouroboros, and so on. Or uh, they can uh, be permissioned, like uh, in Ripple, uh, <coughs> in RSCoin, and uh, other protocols. So, they use in highly reliable computer systems. Uh, they use in critical uh, technical systems like avionic, uh, nuclear power stations, and so on. But currently, we are discussing cryptocurrency distributed ledgers. So, if we look to cryptocurrency peer-to-peer uh, -peer network, we can see the network that uh, spread all over the, the world. And imagine two transactions that are generated uh, in the United States and in Australia, for example. Uh, if we look uh, to some node uh, which is located in the United States uh, and uh, in Australia, if they stack this transaction uh, in time uh, when they arrive, they can get quite different number of transactions because here we can have uh, enough big delays, it can be tens of seconds. So currently we are limited uh, for modern internet. We have uh, limitation approximately for 20 seconds uh, with very high probability the message uh, of any size uh, which is acceptable for modern cryptocurrencies will be delivered 
delivered within 20 seconds, but 20 seconds is a very big gap, and if we just stack uh, these uh, <coughs> transactions, we can see quite different sequence of them. And it's a big uh, problem uh, because uh, money, uh, some coins can be spent, uh, and here coin, coin spent uh, to one receiver, here coin spent to another receiver. Okay, uh, how Bitcoin uh, works, uh, so-called Nakamoto consensus. Uh, all transactions are united into blocks, and uh, for each block is provided so-called proof of work, uh, so uh, <coughs> a miner uh, spends some resources uh, to prove uh, that, uh, <coughs> uh, to, to have guarantees, uh, to provide guarantees uh, for the network, that he won't uh, provide very many chains, uh, that he, uh, his best uh, strategy is to provide the only single cha chains. So there are many uh, transactions. Transactions are united uh, with Merkle root, uh, uh, put into the block, and uh, the uh, <coughs> sequence of block uh, determine the sequence of transactions. And if coins are already spent, we can see uh, them uh, on blockchains. So it's very uh, easy to verify. Very simple solution, but uh, Nakamoto uh, was the first uh, who uh, <coughs> proposed it in 2008. Uh, so, transactions sent to peer-to-peer -peer network, uh, transactions are collected to block, uh, on receiving uh, transactions are verified, blocks are verified, and sent further. Uh, and also, uh, very important note, that if there are several alternative chains, so there are several sequence of, uh, concurrent sequence of blocks, several visions of transaction history, uh, we select the longest one, uh, the uh, <coughs> chain to which the most work wo uh, was um, uh, provided. So, uh, when miners uh, build uh, uh, their blockchain, it's quite possible that two blocks are found approximately at the same time. And that's quite normal that uh, there will be uh, two forks, uh, two chains on the one blockchain. But uh, on, uh, one chain will be occasionally uh, extended. This chain becomes uh, Longer, uh, this block just orphaned and uh, it is not taken into account. Transaction which, uh, from this block which were not included uh, here, they will be included in uh, uh, next blocks if they are correct. So, and that's quite, quite normal fu uh, functioning. Uh, what uh, <coughs> can we have also here? Uh, forks can be longer. It also uh, can happen. For example, we have network splits. For example, China is disconnected for some period of time, and China builds its own blockchain, and uh, the rest of the world build, builds its own blockchain. But when the network connection is restored, uh, everything is connected together, uh, some of uh, this chain becomes orphaned, and that's uh, quite normal. It's uh, normally hand handled by the protocol. Uh, so, uh, what disadvantages of linear proof-of-work blockchain do we have? So, it's artificial slowdown of uh, block generation rate. So this proof of work just limits that blocks cannot appear uh, faster than uh, once in 10 minutes in, uh, in average. Uh, <coughs> uh, so uh, security uh, is based on that. So uh, we have uh, physical limitations of number of equipment, of computational power, of energy, electrical energy that we can consume. And uh, security is based on these uh, physical li uh, limits. Of course, we have huge energy consumption for such uh, solutions. Uh, we have uh, very important security limitations. We cannot decrease uh, time between blocks uh, uh, to uh, <coughs> approve more transactions uh, because uh, we uh, will uh, increase the number of forks and uh, uh, this uh, will uh, create a, a better opportunity for, uh, for attacker to create uh, another fork and uh, make double spend transaction. So uh, such linear blockchain have a very low throughput, long time of transaction approval, and uh, for the current solution, uh, there are trends to centralization. We have mining pools, and there are very few mining pools that are controlled by very uh, few people. And these uh, few people control a uh, block generation uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, so, <coughs> uh, what do we have here? If we have such short forks, uh, it means that attacker who want to create alternative chain, he need to have races in his, his own hash power, not with the all miners, but only with part of them. So, because the uh, 
honest miners have competition uh, between each other. And in this case, uh, attacker doesn't need to have, uh, 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 for example, 51%. Uh, 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 for, uh, for some cases, uh, uh, it's enough to have 30% to successfully uh, provide double spend attack or even if we have long delays and uh, with message delivery and big network splits. Uh, in this case, uh, this double spend attack can, can be provided having only 10% uh, of the hashing power. So, uh, what solution do we have here? The first uh, protocol that was appeared, it was Ghost. Uh, some uh, very simplified version of Ghost uh, was used uh, in uh, Ethereum, and uh, it, it is used right now. Uh, what uh, is uh, the solution for, for <coughs> uh, this protocol? Uh, for this protocol, uh, <coughs> Uh, we count not the longest chain like for Nakamoto consensus, but uh, we count number of blocks that confirm uh, some, uh, some block. For example, here we have longest blockchain and uh, uh, attacker will win if we use Nakamoto consensus. But uh, if we count number of blocks, this subtree will have uh, the most number of blocks and this chain will win according to the ghost uh, protocol consensus. In this case, we can uh, significantly uh, uh, shorten time between blocks, so such forks uh, uh, become normal, and uh, uh, <coughs> it uh, significantly increases the security of, of the protocol. Uh, but some chains uh, become orphaned, and it also decreases the computational power. It's not perfect solution, it's much better than the linear blockchain, but it's not uh, the perfect solution. So, uh, the next solution is a Spectre protocol from the same uh, authors. They switched from tree into DAG, directed acyclic, uh, acyclic graph. Uh, so, <clears throat> mining is very simple. Create new blocks. In this block, you need to include references to all previous unreferences block. If you receive block, uh, verify it uh, through the proof of work, and uh, then send uh, it further. Uh, so, it provides high uh, throughput. Uh, they may, may utilize all available network bandwidth, so it uh, provides really high throughput. And it provides pairwise ordering among blocks. So, if there are two conflict conflicting transactions included into different blocks, it's very easy to find out which transactions come earlier and which transaction uh, is valid. So, we have something like that. Uh, each block uh, votes for uh, each, another, uh, each another block. We have uh, so, uh, elections among this directed acyclic graph. And uh, <coughs> this protocol uh, works, but it has uh, uh, the lag that uh, it, uh, it, do it doesn't provide uh, linear ordering. We can pairwise compare block, but we cannot uh, 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 provide linear order among all blocks. For example, we can take blocks A, B, and C. Uh, uh, the protocol can say A goes prior to B, B goes prior to C, but C goes prior to A. That's uh, incorrect. Uh, we have so-called uh, Condorcet uh, paradox uh, here. Uh, we don't have transitivity property, but uh, it's uh, the property of the protocol. So uh, if we use it as a usual ledger for very simple cryptocurrency like Bitcoin in the first version, uh, it works well. But if we would like to use smart contracts or treasure or something like that, we need linear block ordering and Spectre won't work for that. Uh, improvement uh, for Spectre uh, was uh, Phantom. Uh, similar mining rules. Uh, it uh, uh, provided attempt to, uh, uh, pr uh, to uh, do linear order and block uh, uh, index, but also for this it required uh, to limit throughput. So there is a trade-off between confirmation time and throughput, and ha uh, to have some reasonable confirmation time, uh, we need to uh, limit throughput uh, enough, <coughs> significantly uh, a limit. So uh, here uh, we have also deck by structure. Uh, deck is colored into blue and uh, red uh, <coughs> uh, vertices. Uh, and uh, uh, here we rely on so-called hourglass blocks. Some part of blue blocks should be before that block and should both blocks uh, should be uh, uh, after that block. So uh, the protocol uh, was promising, but currently, unfortunately, uh, it, uh, it is broken. So uh, the next protocol uh, is graph chain. Uh, it also uses uh, deck-based uh, uh, consensus. Uh, 
it doesn't unite transaction into blocks. Uh, uh, each transaction references to uh, two parents. And for example, if we add new transaction, it selects uh, uh, two, uh, two parents. And uh, they provide uh, <coughs> uh, proofs that uh, from some period of time they come to convergence when uh, a transaction uh, can see all transactions uh, in, its, uh, in its past. So it's a, it's a good property. But after deep anal uh, analysis, we found uh, that this uh, deck-based protocol has unwanted properties. We are preparing uh, our paper uh, on uh, this uh, protocol, on an uh, analysis of this protocol. So there are also deck-based protocols like Tangle Iota uh, they, uh, and Avalanche. Uh, they also use uh, transactions, transaction <coughs> which has united into directed acyclic graph. So for Tangle Iota, there are a lack of security proofs in their theoretical paper. It looks, uh, this, the paper was done like mass for mass. Uh, some proofs uh, works in very narrow condition which, ca which cannot be held in real world environment. So uh, it's a uh, good attempt, but uh, it cannot uh, <coughs> tolerate all possible uh, practical conditions in the network, as for our opinion. So there is Avalanche protocol. <coughs> uh, it's also, uh, we also have some suspects that it cannot tolerate to some type of attacks. Uh, we didn't uh, work very deeply with it, but uh, uh, we have uh, such uh, <coughs> uh, suspects uh, for this protocol. So, uh, and if we are speaking about deck-based consensus, it must have high throughput, it must have very fast confirmation, not tens of minutes, but uh, only seconds. It must provide linear uh, ordering of all transactions uh, or all blocks uh, to be used with smart contracts, treasury, and uh, various side chains. It must provide high level of security, and it must provide true, decentral uh, true decentralization. Uh, so, uh, participants, miners in such a uh, protocol uh, should not require mining pools uh, to have a uh, really true decentralization. So we are working on it and uh, uh, <coughs> within one month we will publish a paper uh, for, with the description of uh, such a protocol. Uh, moreover, on the main stage uh, there will be a, a talk uh, <coughs> from uh, cryptocurrency uh, leader uh, who, uh, who are going to implement uh, uh, this deck-based consensus protocol as their next level consensus protocol. Okay, that's all uh, for me. Roman, thank thanks.